If you're shady and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> y'all but to me this week went by really quickly I'm not sure it's because we're quickly approaching the end of the world and time just seems to go by just that much faster I don't know what's going on but uh, I hope that you guys had a great week and this upcoming weekend I hope that it is just full of fun or rest for you I want to let you guys know that you can go to houseofexpression.com slash contact I recently got like one university trying to get me out there to speak for them so if you want me on a panel or your GSA once somebody comes speak or your black student union whatever it is Go to houseofexpression.com slash contact. Let me know what it is. We can work something out. Also, patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. I wrote this really cool article because of how the patrons voted. I wrote this really cool article about the social media facade and what it does to our self-esteem. One of the key points is the fact that a lot of people go on social media to post their successes and not their failures or insecurities. So I just thought, um, and obviously you guys thought that was an interesting topic. So go there, sign up, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let's get into it. So I can already tell that this video is going to be all over the place so please just bear with me uh what should we start out first with Popeyes y'all and I don't know why I keep talking about this because like I told y'all I'm mostly a vegetarian but Popeyes you remember what I said about them running out of their chicken sandwiches so now they're bringing it back but it's BYOB and I said sis am I at am I back at college y'all talking about BYOB when I did some further investigation it's bring your own bun so they're gonna give you the chicken tenders <laughs> They're gonna give you the chicken tenders, but they're not gonna give you no mayo, no pickles, no nothing, girl. You bring your own bun and that's it. Now, sis, I don't know what to tell y'all. These multi-million dollar ass companies saying, bitch, I don't know what to tell you, but you gotta bring your own bread. <laughs> I hate, I hate to see it. So I just thought that was funny. Go and check it out if you want some more information because I'm not gonna talk too much about them chickens. The only other chickens I'll talk about is Sean and Camilla. Now, they went onto Instagram. Some people were saying that this video was actually recorded um, month, like a month ago. I don't know how true that is. Is. You can look that up. But Sean and Camilla, they're basically making fun of themselves, talking about, oh, y'all say that we kiss like a fish. And this is it. So I'm not gonna play the whole video. I'm just gonna show you a picture. Uh, I know that it's unsol unsolicited. I know that you didn't request it. I didn't request it either when it, when I was scrolling down my uh, timeline. But since I had to see it, y'all gonna have to see it as well. I'm not sure what's going on here. I, like, I don't care if it's satire or funny game. I don't wanna see it. It's already satire. It's already a joke when they're in public and doing this shit. You see what I'm saying? Y'all already accomplished it being a joke in public so you don't have to replicate it on social media. I promise you. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't believe I was scrolling and I just saw two suction cups just going down my timeline all over each other. It was just, whoo, get, get me out of here. You want to see something else that's corny? Now, I don't know what country this is in. I, I promise you I don't. I just know that it went viral recently. Everybody on social media was gagging. Sis, I don't even know. This Rachel Dolezal built. Somebody said this is Yes Jewels on Twitter. Iggy a zinc face. It's just, I don't know what. Neither does she, but I don't know what's going on here. And I'm gonna put up some pictures of the bystanders. It's just, it don't matter where on the planet that you go, black people, when they see something that is unseasoned, we just have an aversion. You see what I'm saying? When we see something that is just uninspired, we're just that dead face that, that you saw in those pictures, that stale face, built that face, that's what we're going to serve you uh, every single time. I mean, from those kitty yarn built ass braids to those electrocution built ass dance moves, we would like to unsee it. Now, let's go ahead and talk about something that I would actually like to see. So, uh, Game of Thrones. So, there's another exciting prequel that is coming out. The pilot is very close to being ordered. Did some research and it's going to be involving the Targaryen household and that's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. I wish that this was coming out sooner before the other prequel that they ordered documented The Long Night says, I am ready. The way that y'all, I will always say, the way that y'all disrespected Miss Targaryen, rightful heir of the Seven Kingdoms, says the the Queendom, says the unburnt. You see what I'm saying? The unclocked, the undragged, mother of dragons, Miss Stormborn. The way that y'all disrespected her, y'all better. And George R. R. Martin is going to be a writer for the whole series. That's what all we needed. They're going to go back. Says I'm talking about Aegon's conquest. Says I'm talking about the Dance of Dragons. That's the fucking Targaryen civil war where they're beating each other up, fighting um, on Dragonback. Says we're going to get our fucking lives. You hear what I'm saying? I cannot, girl, can you imagine Aegon the Conqueror with his 
nasty ass and sister wives and shit, girl. Nasty as hell, but girl, I I would like to. That's what something I would like to see. You girls, Dracaris, just burn these girls up. Burn them up. Burn them up. We're gonna put Dan and Dave on one of them ships and have Valerian, the black dread, just you know, flying over their ass. Cause the way that you <laughs> y'all disrespected my babe, you disrespected my queen, and I'm glad that y'all are not gonna be involved in none nothing else. Nothing else in the Game of Thrones franchise. Y'all better not ever. So even though we've been talking about this for such a long time, like and honestly, it was black women who had been stolen from and been talked over and been shat on by Sean King who were the first ones to bring this to the forefront, right? So I think a couple months ago, I did a video about Sean King, probably because one of his efforts probably hit the headlines and seemed shady just like the rest of them do. But I made videos, I talked about Sean King, even on Twitter, I talked about Sean King, girl, he's, the shit is shady, the shit, it's just not adding up. If you want to, you can go check out what I said about him on YouTube. To, and it's just it's filled with receipts so DeRay ended up publishing this whole thing filled up with receipts and tax documents and all this shit about the shady practices of Sean King uh, about his lies and deceit and his lack of efficient leadership and fear mongering and shit so it's just this whole piece it went viral everybody was talking about it and there's some people I don't understand because we've been talking about it we've been discussing it I guess people have been willfully blind to this shit now there are people who, who use this picture to describe DeRay and Sean King. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, but you know, what gives me the greatest joy is to see Sean King getting dragged up and down these online media streets for the way that he's treated the community that he claims to care about, the way that he has apparently exploited the community that he claims to care about. I'm glad, I was glad to see that one day I woke up and he was getting dragged, tagged, and bagged. You see what I'm saying? Get his ass out of here. Do the research for yourself. Don't be willfully blind. Go and dive into shit because literally all the information is sitting right there on the World Wide Web. All right? Um, moving on. Even since, and since we talked about Sean King, I was not happy that the Diamond Ball by Rihanna did this whole award thing for his ass because you know he went up to Instagram and was just like, see, Rihanna, Rihanna knows that I'm for the community. Oh my God. It's just like, all right, girl. But yeah, since we're already talking about the Diamond Ball, Rihanna looked amazing. Now, there was a lot of rumors just because sis may have had that um, may have went back for seconds during her meal or something. She stood up and the way that, I don't know, the way the dress was, people were just like, oh my gosh, she pregnant. Oh my gosh, she pregnant. Every time Twitter says a, a celebrity is pregnant, I literally just keep scrolling because I'm like, girl, y'all will see an ab muscle in somebody's stomach and say that that's a whole child. I'm not pressed. Rihanna grabbed that champagne and chugged it and said, girl, that's it. Also, Normani says, I saw that you were at the Diamond Ball and you were giving me life with this dress. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just say that your arm right here, sis, is giving me very much so Black Panther. <laughs> it's giving me very much so Shuri, Shuri's paws. I um, mean, it makes, it makes a lot of sense because you're blasting these other pop girls away and not even the Infinity Stone can help them. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion, I saw that you were up there performing at the Diamond Ball, giving us very much Jessica Rabbit, sexy queen of the underworld with this black on that you had. We, we had to stand on that one. Now for the last part of this video, I guess I'll skim over really quickly uh, what happened during the debates. I watched a, a large, a significant part of it, but Joe Biden's sister coming for your ass. Now, I don't know what the media. These are some headlines that the media had to say about you, but sis, I watched some of your performance, if that's what you want to call it, and it's just like, you got me tripping, up from my land, up tripping, up stumbling, clumsy cause your ass don't need to run. You don't need to run, sit your ass down. There are a lot of people talking about, oh well, he what did, what did that first headline say? He won by not losing. No sis, that's not the benchmark that we need, especially um, in this trying time. Oh, he gave a great performance despite his fumble Sis was over here talking about a record player trying to battle poverty or some shit. Talking about, oh girl, people who are not impoverished here, four million more words than people who are. It's just like, you gotta put the record player up. Sis, ain't nobody using no goddamn pl record player, sis. And, and nobody needs to use your ass to be the president. That's just, just, that's just on period. In the beginning, it was definitely heated because they were dragging each other over healthcare. And it was not nice. It was not friendly. It was very much, girl, we're nearing 2020 and we're trying to cut each other out of the competition. That's what it gave me. I remember Pete tried to jump in and try to be this good Samaritan talking about, oh, well, girl, see, this is why everybody can't stand what's going, this is what everyone hates about Washington. And Castro was just like, uh, girl, 
this is a debate. These are the primaries. What are you talking about? Like, the girl, <laughs> get out of here. Then fucking Andrew Yang talking about, girl, you just go to our website and by raffle, we'll choose 10 families to get $1,000 a month for the rest of this year. That was very ambitious. Kamala Harris is up there kicking and giggling. And you know what? Sis displays the, the fact that she can navigate a debate. And if she wasn't, if her record wasn't so garbage, you know what I mean? I would be able to stand for her. Because you remember, I used to when she was up there dragging these people during these hearings. But after I found out her record, I was like, all right, girl. She was talking about Wizard of Oz and George Stephanopoulos thought that she, he was talking about her when she was actually talking about Trump. It was just so much going on. She was asked again specifically about her record and it just, it sounds so corny what she, what she said, especially when she was up there just making fun of people who were saying build more schools, less jails. Bernie over there shaking his, wagging his finger. Like I said, they were really roasting each other. Bernie, Elizabeth Warren, and Joe Biden, they were really dragging each other. When it comes to health care, I think Joe Biden wants to build on Obamacare. It was so crazy how Julian was dragging his ass, especially when he was asked about the deportations, the record amount of deportations that the Obama administration was responsible for. And Joe Biden didn't really have an, a, a good answer. And Castro was just like, how are you going to be trying to live in this man's legacy when it comes to health care, but you can't answer these questions? questions about the deportations. That was one thing. So Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden, and Sanders, like I said, were all fighting each other over healthcare, especially in the beginning. We moved on. We talked about gun violence and um, Beto O'Rourke was talking about, yeah, hell yeah, we're going to take your AR-15s and shit. And as soon as I turned around, here comes Beto on, on Twitter talking about we selling these shirts. And I was just like, wow, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And one of the other major moments was when Castro was just like to Biden, did you just forget what you said two minutes ago? They were talking about healthcare and being able to buy into plans and stuff. Did you just forget? You just said that. It was just, oh my gosh. I, I just get Joe Biden off the stage. You need to also make sure that his uh, denture glue is, is strong enough to handle these debates as well. We got to, oh my God, please, please. So if you were seeing boycott ABC trending recently, it's because during these debates, Sim Clear Broadcasting, I think in certain segments of the ABC network, was they showed this crazy ad that showed AOC's face being set on fire, fear mongering with the socialism and showing skulls and dead bodies and shit. It was just like, oh, this is what you want. She's a socialist. This is what you're going to get. It was really bad. So people were just up there talking about boycott ABC. I don't think that ABC is shook or worried about nobody boycotting their asses. But I'm just really honestly pressed that this ad was even included or approved in the first place. Money talks, bullshit walks, I guess, but damn. And sis wasn't even on the goddamn debate stage. I just... <laughs> Get this bullshit out of here. But yeah, uh, that's it. Make sure that you are staying informed on all these crazy ass candidates and pick the one that's gonna fuck us over the least because I just, who I'm tired. I got halfway through that damn debate. I was like, all right, girl, like I, I'm just gonna take my ass to sleep or take my ass to the asteroid belt because I just need a break at this point. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Like I said, make sure that you have an amazing weekend. Find somebody's man to steal so that you can have a good goddamn evening.